Wild Gecko is a pretty well-known name amongst residents of Accra. Though known for its furniture production mostly, it has many more items on its shelf as you will see shortly. In fact, it is very hard to walk out of Wild Gecko without purchasing something. The Golden Coast, so called by Europeans, on account of its abundant and copious yield of gold things and treasures of nature, is also of successful minds. The workshop of Wild Gecko is a great hum of activity. This is where some of the best pieces displayed in Wild Gecko are put together. It's hardwood pieces, chest, CD holders, tables, chairs ranging from the simple in design to the fanciful. These pieces of woodwork combined with iron wrought work often includes overtones of Edinkra symbolism. When it comes to difference in our products compared to what competitors do, I would say it comes from my background as a Ghanaian and an African. Um, my partner Pum also uh, grew up completely in Ghana, right from um, kindergarten, primary school, right up to university. So she's also very, very Ghanaian, just like I am. Um, we always want to put something Ghanaian or in a broader concept, um, African, into what we produce. So it reflects in the symbols we choose, Adinkra symbols or gold weight symbols, and using Ghanaian materials wherever possible. And it's working fine by us. Um, the customers seem to like that and appreciate that. These amusing cocks, elephants and other animals are made from iron and exemplify wild gecko's exploration into new materials and forms. Wild Gecko is a mind-boggling array of items, jewelry including beads, bags and other curios all inspired by traditional forms, symbolism and colors. Gecko, we founded Wild Gecko um, to basically to take care of all our creative urges. That was the reason we founded it and to prove that in Ghana we could come up with innovative, new, interesting designs all the time um, to counteract the ideas that people had about Ghana, Ghanaian handicrafts before then. And so it's, it's important for us to achieve that aim, and so that fuels it. We, we, we constantly have to prove this point. <laughs> so I think that that's what it is. It is a labor of love. We intend doing it. It's, it's the profession that we've um, earmarked for ourselves for life. So it's not just going to uh, be another two years or five years. For me, it's um, until I become a pensioner, I'll be doing Wild Gecko in whatever style and format that it might take us into. Um, the future is still going to be furniture production, um, gift items, handicrafts in general, anything handmade out of Africa. Pwam van Landewijk runs Wild Gecko together with her partners Elizabeth Vaden, shop and retail manager, and Kingsley Safo, the operations manager. The name Wild Gecko just came from Kingsley and my imagination. We don't, we don't know where it came from. We were looking for a, a name that 
that grabbed both of us for about four or five years before we actually came up with it. One of our travels in Accra, uh, in Ghana, rather outside of Accra, we kept bouncing names off each other. And one of us came up with the word wild and the other came up with the word gecko. And there is no, it, I don't know, just came like that. <laughs> and we were happy with it, so. That's a good one. Everybody wants to know and is intrigued by the name. Um, my partner Pum came up with the part that says wild. I came up with the part that says gecko. We've always liked animals of the lizard, crocodile, alligator family. And um, the gecko is actually one of the species that lives with you in every home. It's called a fiora or a dangura, which is a landlord. And it also keeps away mosquitoes. It, it eats up mosquitoes and things. So it's, it's quite a handy and good um, animal. It also put, gives protection in the home. In, in various beliefs, you believe that wild geckos or geckos give um, protection at home. Shoppers come to wild gecko to find something different. Locals want something familiar and recognizable. Foreigners may want to take out something that brings on memories of this country. Shoppers come to buy gifts or buy something that lasts for the rest the of their lives. Coast, coast, so called by Europeans on account of its abundant and copious yield of gold things and treasures of nature as also of successful minds. When the seasons arrive to set ablaze the fires of our lives, I see my people day by day. The Golden Coast, coast so-called by Europeans, Europeans, on account of its abundant abundant and copious yield of gold things and treasures of nature, as also of successful minds. When the seasons arrive. Set ablaze the fires of our lives I see my people Lifting their lives again Shine or rain Beloved go bed your job Apo Apo more more Yo fit Kundu ma watch it as a photo fiam 